Hey, thanks for sticking around. This is Ryan again with eWeb Jelly. And this section of the course is all about content. Now, if you remember earlier in the course, we talked about, you know, the layout is the framework of the house or the framework of the website. The content is what you're putting inside the house. So if you're building your house, obviously you're going to build your house. It's going to be done. And then the fun part is adding your furniture, putting your pictures on the wall, decorating, right? That's what the content part of this is. Content is how you're going to decorate your website, but there's a strategy to it. Content is something you really want to think about and you want to start gathering and collecting even before you build your website. So let's say you're a restaurant um, and you're a, you sell burgers and fries. Excellent. There's no reason why you can't start capturing content now, even before your website's built. You can go ahead and start taking pictures of all of your food. You can get some customer reviews. Um, you can have some fun videos of people at your restaurant posting things. All of that is content. And that's what's going to drive people to want to check out your business or get to know your brand. So content is extremely important, but it has to carry value, right? So Different types of businesses carry different types of value. If you're a plumbing business and you want to uh, showcase how you can fix a, a leaky faucet or a major leak in someone's house, you want to build content that teaches people how you do it and the value you provide to help with that problem, right? Now, if you're a restaurant, it's a little bit of a different story. The value you provide is in the food it's in the service or it's in the ambiance of the restaurant. Those are all things that provide value to the customer. And that's what you want to build your content around. So for example, if we look at one of our clients, Home Suites Bake Shop, the value that they provide is yummy, yummy treats, cookies, cupcakes, cake pops. These are all delicious. The value uh, that they provide is the fact that they can deliver um, and they can, they can make these fairly quickly. You can schedule a consultation. Um, they want to help you and provide value by delivering sweets and, and yummy items for your wedding, your birthday, your anniversary, whatever it might be. They want to be your go-to place to, to order this stuff for these parties. So the content and the value is just number one. Here the value is, look, everything looks so good, right? So the values in the fact that they can be creative, they can do photos on cookies, they can do little faces um, and all kinds of things. There's a rewards program. Uh, so there's a lot of value in understanding the owner and how much experience they have and all the things they've done. And there's value in experience, right? So this is what the content should be about. It should be about the value you're delivering your customer. So you can start to develop that content even before your website is built. That way, when your web, website's ready to be built, then you can provide the content. Now, a couple of tips on content, right? When you're, when you're approaching um, a web developer like us, try to have it organized. Try to have it in a, in a place so you can have it saved, back it up on a disk um, or a flash drive or something. Um, make sure that you have your content organized, labeled, you know what you want to put on the website, you know what, what you need and where it needs to go and what it is and why you're putting it on there and the value it brings. And you're always backing it up and saving it because you don't want to have an issue and then lose all of the content that you built over months or years, right? So you always want to store it, save it, back it up so you don't lose it. We all know technology fails, phones get lost or stolen, and as long as you have that content backed up somewhere, if an issue occurs, you can always have that insurance that you can retain your content and go back and get it if you need to. But content is extremely important. It's what the meat and potatoes is of your website, right? So if your website's that, you know, when you go to a restaurant and you have a, a blank dish in front of you, the content is the food, the delicious food on that dish. It's the value, right? So you want your content to deliver value. You want your content to say, this is why you want to hire me as your plumber, because I have this much experience. I've done this and this and this, and this is what I do. I can be there within 24 hours. I can provide you great service. I have 30 years experience. Whatever you can say to provide value, 
That's what you want to do. But you want to communicate that in the content of your website. Because once you create valuable content and people go and visit your site, they're hooked. They're, they're sold. And your website should really sell your products, your services uh, before they even meet with you. If your website can get them sold already and warm them up to you, then when they actually meet you in person or over video chat, um, they're, they're that much closer to being a full-on client or customer. So if you want to learn more about content or talk to me about it, go to ewebjelly.com or email me, ryan at ewebjelly.com and stick around. We've got some more info.